Okay, well, hello and welcome as I try out a new game called Rogue State. In this game, you take over shortly after a revolution which overthrew a king and you're in a Middle Eastern state called Basenji. Um, disclosure, this game was provided to me free of charge for the purposes of review. Let's go ahead and see how it is, shall we? Family name, well... How about Corviday? I'll go ahead and do normal mode. I could do easy, but you know what? Let's just, let's just try it the, the way it's meant to be done. We're going live in three, two, one. For those just joining us, we are fortunate to have an audience today with our glorious leader. Excellency, last week we experienced the conclusion of the trial of the tyrant King Solomon, with his execution scheduled for next Friday. With the Great Revolution finally concluded, what will the future political structure of the People's Republic of Bisenji finally look like? Well, Zara, King Solomon was a corrupt and sadistic man. Under his rule, our people served while he sold away our most sacred objects to pay for his own luxuries. Hundreds of thousands of souls died under his tyranny, yet he was tolerated by the American imperialists. His death will give us closure, but our work is only just beginning. The people's revolution is never really over. We must rebuild this country from the ashes, reform it. The Revolutionary Council has put me in charge of the transitional government for the next five years to maintain order while a new constitution is drafted. One that meets the needs of all the people. Many were expecting your brother Farouk would be named by the Revolutionary Council as the interim leader of Basenji. What role will he have in the transitional government? Farouk is popular to be certain and was a fellow patriot of the revolution. He will be given an appropriate role in my cabinet. It is often said that the Americans are suspicious of our transitional government and that you face a great deal of pressure from domestic interests seeking reforms. Our first priority is, of course, reconstruction. The American imperialists are of no concern at this time. Governance is not an easy task, but I assure the people that we will build a stronger Basenji together. Thank you again for your time, Excellency. It is a pleasure, Zara. Well, all right then. So, um, before I actually, you know, started playing, I did look at some of the instructions and I did, you know, kind of try to figure out a little bit about the game. So, um, I need to go ahead and assign some, uh, some cabinet members here now and I can there's five posts and I have to pick four of them one of which must go to my evil brother Farouk um so I definitely and Farouk instead of being good will sabotage my efforts so let's see I'll make the Patriot guy my defense minister um, having a defense minister is really important because it improves your military loyalty, which I imagine is very important. Um, my, hmm, who do I want? Approval with all the factions seems like a good idea. I'll give that to this guy. Um. Definitely don't want to have the Americans mad at me. So. I don't know how important intelligence breakthroughs are. I'll make this guy, the fundamentalist, my intelligence minister. And I'll be losing a... Hmm good bit of money doing this, but I 
think if I get my economy going well enough, I mean, I don't know enough about the game to say for sure, but hopefully I can mitigate this damage. I don't feel like I want to have Farouk as my... In That's the thing, I don't want to have him as any of these, but I feel like a lot of these could be even more damaging than losing money. We'll see. That'll be my cabinet for now. That's probably horribly wrong, but okay. Um, so I did read through the manual. Excellency, my name is Tariq Badur. As parliamentary chief of protocol, it is my duty to ensure that your instructions reach our parliamentarians. Okay. I trust you have settled into your new office? May I offer some suggestions on our first steps to restoring order to Vajinji? Sure. Yes, please begin. Excellent. To start, there are two units of currency to be concerned with. One is our treasury funds. Where I'm losing seven million per turn. That's rough. And most of that is my brother. Infrastructure to begin. Click on the state infrastructure button. Alright. You gonna give me the ability? Yeah, infrastructure. Very important. No water or sewage. Gotta fix that. Foreign aid workers. Medical or engineering? Um. Well. Makes medical stuff cheaper. Makes the military happier. That sounds good to me. And electricity. Okay. And now click on the policies button. Or use F1. Keyboard shortcuts are pretty great. Okay, where is that? Minimum wage. So, slight one. Okay, uh, free trade zones. Where do I do that? Aha. Okay. Our budget is a problem. So F2. That's balanced my budget, it looks like. Most actions in the game cost time points. There are four time points in a turn. The number of time points available can be seen on the clock in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. When all four time points are consumed, a turn ends and an event occurs. Events are rarely good news. Of course they're not. Actions, including building infrastructure, changing policies, calling neighbors, and moving. Okay. Our industries are restored in the state infrastructure menu. Vajinji will... Those resources will appear here, in the resource menu. 
There. Okay. I'm there. I suggest exporting goods that other countries will pay well for, and importing manufacturing bonuses are rewards conferred for having certain combinations of goods in your country. Okay, makes sense. Domestically or imported from neighbors. Click on the resource menu that was just highlighted to see all the po Okay. Hmm. Oil sounds nice. Can I get that? Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. The people love Farouk, so you need to keep him in your regime. But we should keep a close eye on the loyalty of your parliamentarians. When faction approval drops, when your cabinet members get displeased, or when we start to lose wars or run out of funds, that's when our parliamentarians' loyalties shift. Their loyalty is represented with loyalty points, that other currency. If you start seeing if loyalty okay. is too low, for now, let's take a close up. I don't know about all these animations. That just seems excessive. Okay. I'll leave you to it now, Excellency. This is not everything there is. You can always hit the buzzer if you are in need of. For now, I suggest advancing to the next turn sooner, like I have ever. Hey, the phone's ringing. Greetings, Your Excellency. I am Prime Minister Fatima Al Farsi, and on behalf of Babelistan, I wanted to be the first to welcome the liberation of the People's Republic of Bastenji from the tyranny of the Salman family. The Salman regime was a threat to the whole region. That is why we provided your rebellion oh, well, thank you. and training necessary to overthrow the tyrants. Once the transitional government has restored Basenji's infrastructure and industry, let us work towards restoring our trade relationship. Do not hesitate to contact me if there is any way Babelistan can be of assistance to you. Thank you for your call. I am certain our two great nations will work together to bring great prosperity to the region. There is much work to be done. But I am grateful for your country's support. Um. We want to work with you to advance sure. your rights and freedoms in the region. It is interesting to hear you say this. The people enjoy many freedoms here in Babelistan. Can you truly say the same about Basenji? Um. Apologies, but I must go. Let us speak again later. Goodbye. Okay, well then. He says I should end the turn, but don't I have stuff left that I can do? Maybe not. Are there any interesting policies? Capitalist mad. Is there anything I can do to... Make them happy. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Ooh, mass transit. That's something I'll eventually want. In theory. Police budget, I bet, is quite nice to have. Avoid crime and stuff. Okay, well, I definitely want to get money available so I can do all those good things. Um, I'm 
gonna. Can I call him? Good day, Ambassador. Would you be free to meet sometime in the next few weeks? It's always a pleasure, Your Excellency. I would be happy to meet with you when an opportunity opens in our busy schedules. Okay, and that ends my turn. Okay, let's see, so I get an event. Fundamentalist clerics are calling upon the government to ban immodest western haircuts. If you agree, ponytails, spikes, mohawks, and brightly colored dyes would be prohibited. If I agree, uh, US gets mad, tourism goes down, patriots and fundamentalists go up, liberals go down. Or, I can just piss off the fundamentalists a little bit by making the liberals happier. Well, I feel like this is basically an even trade, and this pisses off the US, which is probably a bad idea. So no. Oh, it's the ambassador. Thank you for seeing me, Ambassador. It is my pleasure. Um. Tell pleasantries me. and small talk for now. Just make him this make him happy. Hosting to the region, and my family is very happy here. I am pleased. If there is anything we can do to make things more comfortable for you, please do call upon us. Basenji's political situation. Oh, hope he helps. Entire. I beg of you. Please help me regain the support of my people. It's disappointing that you can't maintain control of your own country. Very well. I'll write an editorial in the newspaper in support of your so-called leadership. No, oh, making me feel bad for it. I believe that is all I have to say for the moment. Very well. Thank you for your hospitality. I hope we can chat again soon. Increasingly identifying as capitalists. Interesting. Okay, then. Um, infrastructure. Very important. Okay, let's restore the financial stuff. And rebuild telecommunications. Very important. Unlockables, what are those? <laughs> oh, swanky. Spend experience points to unlock perks that stay with you through all future playthroughs. Huh. Interesting. So, support from everyone but Patriots is trending up. Why are Patriots... Or they've gone down recently, but overall they're trending upward in the future. Capitalists, though, are mad. I need to do something about that. Do I have any policies I can do to appease them? some gambling or something. Might make the fundamentalist a little bit mad or increase... Eh. Increasing crime seems bad. Yeah, let's... Hmm. 
Let's just improve all that. Okay. Let's keep it as voluntary. Prayer week. Um. I see. I'd like to do something to make the uh, capitalists happier. Schools seem just a good thing to do, because the liberals are quite mad at the moment as well. Okay. There. At least the capitalists won't get super mad. Can't afford that. This will do for now. What's a situation room? Oh, I can skip the cutscenes. Awesome. Or the animations. At least some of them. Okay, probably nothing I need to do yet, it looks like. So, let's see. Let's take a look at my parliament, maybe? People are generally pretty supportive. Farouk, of course, hates me. Okay, what's this? Banking loyalty points is a thing I can do. Okay. Um. Let's see about calling him again. Good day, Ambassador. It's always a I would be happy to meet. And then maybe also meet with one of my neighbors. Like her? Thank you for taking my call. Um. We would like to deepen the long standing co We enjoy our privilege, really. Apology. Goodbye. There we go. Let's see. A small asteroid will impact Pashenji in 18 hours. We cannot assess exactly where it land, but the shockwave is likely to cause some injuries. Apparently I can't do the Armageddon option. Um, so I'm just screwed. Here's the ambassador. Thank you for seeing. It is my pleasure. Just tell me. Pleasantries for now. This is my third post. I am pleased. I Sounds like I can't do much for the moment. All right, well, let's go to look at our infrastructure. And restore state industries. What did I get? And restore the justice system. 
Oh, or I have to make a choice. Do I do a restorative justice system imprisoning the monarchs? The war is over and the people are weary of seeing their fellow citizens incarcerated simply for following the king's orders. However, this solution keeps the monarchists from filling your cabinet, member, cabinet members with seditious thoughts. Or do I offer amnesty? Um, oh my. That's quite dangerous. I'm just gonna imprison the monarchists, I guess. Okay, now I have... Oh, now I can do more things. Okay, well, neat. Anyway, I think this is a good place to end the episode. Let's just take a look at what these resources are. So, media products. Um, if I, when I export that, I get Patriot Appeal. And, what's the... I don't know what one of these is. I can't really tell. Um, this interface isn't ideal. Um. So I don't know what come out. Oh, spices. Okay. So trade agreements. Want to have them in place, right? Well. Um, so if I can import goats, that would be awesome. I mean, get lots of approval from, from fundamentalists and patriots. Well, I think I should export media products. And maybe import the, the goat thingies. How do I do? Let's take a look at the regional map. So, Babylistan. Want to talk trade, I guess. Which, hey, we're kind of friendly with already. Thank you for. Um, kind of. Well, Are you interested in negotiating? Yeah, I'll see if they'll take it. We sell you Basenji Media and Entertainment. Certainly, these are the terms we are. Pro cool. And. I also want to buy goats. Negotiating a trade agreement where we purchase your goats. Certainly. Apologies, but goodbye. I don't know if that was a good idea or not, but it gives us access to another resource. So hopefully it is. Anyway, for now. I hope you're enjoying this. This game seems certainly interesting, and I think I will you know, at least complete a full game. But for now, I'm going to end the episode. Thank you for watching and have a great day.